In this video, we'll be setting up two Python virtual environments, one for version 3.6 and one for version 2.7. I'll do that in two command line prompts. So I'll use one prompt for version 3.6 and another one for 2.7. To configure the virtual environments, we will need to install one of the Python packages called Virtual Environments. But before we do that, let's just update the package manager to make sure we have the latest version. We do that by using Python to invoke pip and install with the upgrade flag and then point to the pip packet. What will happen here is that it will search for the current installed packet and it will identify that it's version 10. Version 10 will be uninstalled and then the new version 18.1 will be installed. And so while this is happening I'll just continue in the other prompt where I will be creating a folder that will hold our Python virtual environments. There we go. So we now have a new version of pip installed and we will use pip to install virtual environments. So it will collect that and it will install this as part of the operating system installation of Python and the, the packages associated with the operating system. With virtual environments we can also install packages but they will reside within the virtual environment. And this way we can separate our virtual environment and the packages within from the operating system and the packages installed on the operating system. It's quite simple to do that. Let's just go into the, to the Python folder where we, we just created in the other command prompt. And on the left hand side I'll create a virtual environment for Python 3.6, uh, sorry, so the newest. We'll do that using virtual env. So that's the packet we just installed. And then you would need to define a folder name for this. And I would call it by py 3.6 because it will use Python 3.6. And then virtual env. There we go. This will then utilize the path of the operating system and the Python version on this path, so Python 3.6. In this other window, I will be creating the virtual environment for Python 2.7. So let's just go into the folder where we have our Python environments we will see that at the moment another folder is being created for the 3.6 environment. So let's cre create this virtual environment for Python 2.7. <clears throat> to do that you need to point at the interpreter for Python 2.7 and you do that so. So that's the directory wherein the executable for Python 2.7 is installed. And then again you would also define a folder name for where this virtual environment will be installed, virtual env, like so. As you can see the virtual environment executable will now define itself as running with the interpreter as defined above. So there you go. Well, I will just run for a little while and I'll just show you here in the left hand side again since it's done creating the virtual environment that we might as well try to, to utilize this now. And you do that by invoking the script which has been created inside this folder and it's called activate. Once you run the script, 
you will see that the command line appends the virtual environment name and this will indicate that the virtual environment is now activated. In this virtual environment we can see that the Python version is 3.6. If we go to the other virtual environment then let's try to activate that. We'll do that in the same way. But this time we used 2.7 instead. We activate it in the same way. Now you can see it's a 2.7 environment and if we run the same command python minus v you will see that it's a different version of python running on the right hand side as to the one on the left hand. So now we can use two different virtual environments. We can install packages independently in each of the virtual environments. And I will just demonstrate how we can install Jupyter. We'll we do that by typing pip install Jupyter. The pip installation will now search for Jupyter and all its dependencies. It will download these and it will install them within the virtual environment for Python 3.6. If you want a Jupyter installed for for Python 2.7, you do the exact same in your virtual environment for Python 2.7. Once all the packages are installed, we can make a snapshot of the current packages so that in the case of any issues in the future, we can reinstall the packages using the exact same version numbers as we're using at the moment. To do that, you create a snapshot using pip freeze. We point that to requirements.txt and pip will then look through all the packages that you have installed and write these into a text file. We can just quickly have a look at the text file and you will see that each packet has a corresponding version number as well. That means in the future, if you want to install the exact same packages, all you have to do is pip install minus r and point to this file with the requirements. Pip will then read the file and install all of these packages again for you. That's it for this video. The next one we'll be looking at Jupyter.